Howdy everyone, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the Bunker System, located underneath the Art Villa found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today I'm coming to you with just a potpourri of wackiness. I did, I went out today, early this morning, and I went for a long run, and it was one of those things where I got to one point and I said, I, I can't make it, I can't, and I was dragging myself on the ground. Now, the trouble with exercise is you get so tired, you have to... I think I need a fancy shirt. I don't like, I just don't like this gray shirt. Beware! Danger at the crossroads! That damn thing. I turned that thing off and it's still going on. That battery's been in there. That's the haunted, that's the haunted bird that just did that. There, I feel more festive now. I'm wearing the purple fairy hat. Remember that character? Hello, I'm a purple fairy. I don't think I said it like that, but you remember. Anyway, um, where was I in all this? Uh, I took a nap and then he take a nap. And then I came home. Oh, I remember after all that. And I got home and I'm dragging myself. And I, and I, I was like, oh, f Beep that. Bleep it out. I, I, I realized I had mowed my lawn. I needed to mow my lawn today and I exercised on top of it. So it's... It's going to be a day of physical woe and misery. Um, okay, the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to get out the 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 knife. I was going to say steak knife, knife of destiny. If I, but that's Slack Jones one deal, and I'm not going to steal it from him. So I'm just getting out the knife, and I'm going to open this package to see what's in it. Because I order stuff, and I don't remember a K and N air filter replacement air filter for my 1988 Jeep Wrangler. I replaced the carburetor with a GM fuel injection system a few years ago and these are washable. You know why they make... It's a scam. Paper filters, air filters in cars, they can make these. And I've just, I've, I've run the one that's in the Jeep for three years now, and I just decided it's probably still okay. I think I'm having a fuel filter problem. But cut all that out. You don't need to know that. I continue to have, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, I needed to, at the end of this, all this, this whole video, uh, I'm going to run some footage I took from a storm that moved in last night. I kind of liked it. There's a thunderhead and there's lightning inside of it. And what I did was, I thought, well, I just won't post it on YouTube. I'll post it to my Facebook account. And I thought, well, it would be nice, you know, because the air conditioner was running. And, and yes, that's right, Dewey. But you can't watch this because you don't have, you've got that, that, that satellite thing and it costs extra money. And Dewey doesn't watch videos anymore because he's trapped in the woods with just a satellite connection so uh anyway uh, so i thought i'll put some some music with it you know and i didn't pick i found this song about rain and i didn't pick it from one of my obscure albums and it kind of went with it and i spent all this time doing it and i uploaded and then facebook like threatens to hang me by a noose from a lamp post because they they said that i you know use copyrighted material i don't understand that why because Facebook's non-commercial. You, as a person on Facebook, is b basically non-commercial. Yes? No. I guess you can have a business, and then you can have friends, so that's probably why. But in my head, it's like, it's just a few friends. I've got 6,085 friends. How many do you have? No, no, I'm lying! <laughs> why do people have all these friends? It, it makes, it's just, it's insane. You can't, you can't, and you don't know half of them anyway. They're just onlookers like, what's going on? What's he doing now? You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and that doesn't bother me. I don't, it doesn't bother me. I could have 6,000 friends and it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me. Yes, it would because then there's always the person that will say something that, I hate you. Well, you're a friend. Why do you, you know, mm, why can't we just all get along? That's what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm just, I'm going to have to cut this all up. I haven't gotten any more orders for my um, my my app that I developed for the iPad and your smartphones. Cut all of that. Anyway, right here, it's uh, the reason I'm wearing the purple fairy hat is because I don't have a turban. I, this is a, a, a mystical manic mark uh, question I got emailed to me yesterday, and I'm going to answer it. And I don't have a turban, and I don't the fog machine. My God, you know how much work it is to plug that damn thing in and get it all fired up. I'm not going to do it. I've got one. It's right there. There. 
but I'm not going to fire it up. Go on, Mark. Howdy, Mystic Manic Mark. You know, it says howdy, Mark. If you're going to ad address a question to Mystic Manic Mark, could you please use my formal and full name? Okay, here we go. My boyfriend Jason and I were recently at a party, and some people were talking and saying the end of the world is coming in 2012. So that we should start buying peanut butter and ammunition. My question is, what kind of peanut butter should we buy? Thank you. Tiffany. This reminds me of a story about Sam's and peanut butter. So I go to the checkout counter and I'm putting stuff through and there's this, this girl, she's an employee, comes up to me and she's got a, a clipboard in her hand. She says, hey sir, how is your shopping experience? And I said, oh, okay. Well, we're taking the survey asking customers what they think. And I went, oh, because I had the question, right? And I said, you know, you've got two brands of peanut butter you carry. And they're Jiffy. And one's Jiffy and one's Jiffy Natural. But if you look on the label, there's sugar in the Jiffy Natural. Have you ever ate Jiffy? It's only good for making peanut butter pie. No human being can eat it without mixing it in with something else. It's the most horrible stuff ever invented on the face of the earth when it comes to peanut butter. But the Jiffy Natural, what is peanut butter? It's peanuts. I'm okay with putting some salt in it, all right? But it's just peanuts. Why do they have to put sugar in it? it? Blows my mind. That's what I told her. And she looked at me blankly and walked away. Okay. The question is not what brand of peanut butter. The question is why did you only buy ammunition? Where are your firearms? <laughs> I can tell you when you go to buy ammunition, buy 9mm and 45s. Basically, you want to buy a standard round that will fit most handguns. You may come across, as you're pillaging across the countryside, as the world implodes or spins or the earth shifts or the crush shifts and we don't know what is going to happen in 2012. We don't know if it's going to be like the revelation, you know, or the magnetic field's going to, the giant solar flare, or is it going to be something like, it could be mankind, nuclear war, the way we're going. Jesus Christ, let's end this whole video on a high note, nuclear holocaust. But to David, no bad. So David lay with Bathsheba. There would be a child. By now the Lord was very displeased, and Bathsheba defiled. Uriah would not come home. The forbidden fruit tasted sour. David had him killed, and now David. Taste is 